In this tutorial today I'm going to show you how to edit and color grade your outdoor portraits in Camera Raw. So this is uh, a raw file as you can see and it was taken using I took this image, it was taken using a Canon 6D and I took this image at uh, f2.2 at 200th of a second and I used an 85mm lens and it was taken at ISO 100 so I want to show you uh, the basic adjustment so this tutorial is uh, even a beginner can follow this tutorial so i want to go in depth uh, for doing your camera roll adjustments in photoshop and you can as well apply the same steps uh, in <clears throat> in adobe lightroom so let me show you what i do when i'm editing my images in camera roll in photoshop so um usually i prefer to come right here in my camera calibration and I prefer to come and first of all I remember I usually use uh, my settings for my picture style in the camera is usually landscape and you can shoot in whichever style you want but if at all you want to uh, make your image uh, be the way you preview it in your camera yeah make sure you just come and select uh, your camera profile yeah your picture style for the camera so i shot this image in landscape so just come right here to camera profile and select landscape so when you select landscape uh, your image will turn will initially and eventually become uh, the way you preview it on your camera screen so this is how I was viewing this image on my camera screen. So this is a magical trick for your images. So if at all you shoot in JPEG, you won't have this option right here. So I would advise you guys to start shooting in RAW so that you can experience the full potential of your images. So this is the image. And now uh, this is the very first step. You can see... Uh, Sorry about this. I want to show you guys something. So this is the image. So after this, I prefer to come right here. In <clears throat> this is my basic panel, and we have different sliders on this basic panel in camera row. So usually I prefer I play around with uh, my these sliders. So. I prefer to first of all come to my highlights and I knock them all the way down to around 65. You can see uh, they were kind of blown out and we are not getting this blue color right here. So when you pull them up, you lose the sky right here in the background. So I prefer to pull them down to regain it back and I prefer to knock that down my whites too. I know that to recover these highlights so I also prefer to uh, knock down my blacks a little bit to around negative 20 and pump up my shadows just slightly to around 14 then I'll come to my contrast and I just knock it up a little bit to around 6 it depends on your test as a photographer so this is fine and i'll leave the exposure right here so i'll come down to my clarity and uh, what clarity does it kind of enhances the uh <coughs> sorry uh the black the blackness or the blacks in the image so i'll pull this up and now if at all you want your image to pop uh this is where the magic happens uh just come to your vibrance and when you pull it all the way up it will be really extreme so i uh, will have these very very vibrant colors in your image so uh, i wouldn't want to go this extreme so i prefer to pump up my vibrance to around 21 and pull down my saturation at around two so i'll come back to my vibrance and knock it up so this is done uh, with, uh, we are done with our basic uh, adjustments, the basic panel adjustments. And yeah, right now we are going to come 
I'm not going to be showing uh, you guys the tonal curve. I'm going to skip that. And I'm going to come right to my detail panel. So in the detail panel, we have uh, this sharpening. Yeah, we have sharpening and noise reduction. So what this does and under sharpening, we have amount and radius and uh, masking. So and uh, under noise reduction, we have luminance and uh these other the rest of the details so what i usually do when i'm sharpening the images i prefer to first of all mask uh when you mask uh you make sure you want uh you select the areas where you want your sharpening to take place so uh when you press down or hold down your alt on your keyboard the alt button hold it down and click on this slider right here and move and slide it you can see uh you can see this area right here so i want only the sharpening to be uh on the model so i'll leave the masking at around 73 so i'll come to my sharpening and i hold down all two as the image will turn black and white so i'll sharpen it i won't sharpen it all the way so i'll leave my sharpening at around uh, 56 so what i'm going to do now i'm going to come i'll leave my luminous but if at all you shot your image and it was kind of grainy uh luminous kind of helps you uh eliminate the noise in your portrait so i'll leave that so i'll come right here on my huge saturation and luminous uh panel you can see you have various uh options right here to play around with and if at all you would like to convert your image into uh, black and red you can just click right here and yeah your image will be black and white so i will sorry about this i will um uncheck this i want to show you so uh, we have the hue saturation and luminous that is the reason for this hsl so uh, what usually I do for my uh, outdoor portraits, I prefer to first of all come to the colors that exist in the image and uh, for this image we have yellow, green and maybe the reds as you can see right here in this image. So when you come to this, just come to and select uh, your colors. You can see when you move your greens to the yellows uh, you'll get more uh, the greens will turn yellow in this image and when you uh, pull this uh, remember we are on the hue panel when you turn your greens towards uh, the blues yeah your greens will eventually uh, turn so this is what I do so it depends on your preference so I'll go in for this look because uh, the image is really popping now. So then we had the yellows in the image. So you can see if at all you want to eliminate all the yellows. I just drag your, yellow, your yellows towards the green and your yellows will eventually become green too. So just come and you can knock them down towards the yellows to have more yellows in the yellows. I hope I'm making sense. So I'm going to uh, leave the yellows right here. So you can see even have the option for the blues. If at all you want to uh, create um, uh, an orange and teal look. So you can play around with the oranges and the blues. So I'm going to leave uh, this right at zero. And I'm going to come to my saturation. If at all you feel uh, the greens are too much, just come and... You can reduce them or pull them all the way out of your image so this is uh what you do and you can also remove the yellows completely from uh, your images so you can play around with this and for luminous you can enhance the brightness or the dullness of the color as you can see when i pull the greens all the way up they will turn brighter and whiter and when I pull them down, they'll turn a darker 
in color so this is what the luminous does so i'm going to pull this uh, back so we are done with uh this uh, panel right here so i'm going to skip this uh split toning and i'm going to come right to uh where i usually color grade and get those amazing skin tones so just come right to uh, your camera calibration once again remember we started right here so when you come to your camera calibration just come and play around with these sliders remember we are now working on the skin tone of the model so i uh, come and play around with this you can see it is affecting the skin tone and as well as the background so just come and play around with this so i'm going to leave this at around a 10 and i'm going to come to my green primary so this i usually works on only the green color in the image so and also affects uh, the skin tones so if at all you pull it all the way up you can see as uh, she is becoming red more red so i'm going to leave i think we shall go uh, with 10 for this and you can play around with the saturation too uh, for your green so i'll prefer to leave it at that so i'll come to my blue primary you can see what this does yeah your blue primary it shows uh, the colors in uh, your image so this is uh i think that is way way too much so i'm going to leave it i want this uh i don't want usually i i prefer as a photographer i prefer an unnatural green so i'll go in for an autumn kind of look so i'll prefer to leave it at around and uh, negative 55 so you can keep around play uh, you can keep on playing around uh, with these uh, little sliders uh, to check on what really works for you as a photographer so this is uh, we are done with the color grading for this and i want to show you guys um some simple trick before you can go in and start retouching your image in photoshop so yeah we are, we are in photoshop i understand but uh, you can keep on uh, whitening the eyes of the model if at all you want and you don't want to stress so let me show you guys this before we can end this tutorial i know it has been long but i wanted each and everyone to understand my adjustments for my images so just come and click and zoom in the eye area so we want to whiten the eyes of uh, this model so just come and click on this is this right here is your adjustment brush in photoshop and come to your settings for the brush so when you click right here uh, i will select your adjustment a uh, brush or you can just click k on your keyboard and now come right down here these are the settings for your brush so we are going to be painting and removing the color from the eye and as well we are going to be whitening the eye of the model so we are going to uh, first of all pull the temperature to around negative 31 and we are going to pull the tint to around 60 70 we'll do for this image uh, skip the exposure and the contrast and come to the highlights and pull them to around 5 and the whites to around positive 4 so come right down to the saturation and reduce the saturation to around negative 73 so your brush will be already set so if at all you want to uh, remove noise from your image you can uh, use or sharpen as uh, the area you're working on you can increase or decrease the sharp sharpness of your adjustment brush so you can reduce or increase on your brush size by using the left and the right brackets on your keyboard so just start painting over the white area of uh, the eye of a model so continue uh, painting so what we are doing right now we are removing the color uh, make sure you only paint uh, the white area of the eye because you don't want to desaturate the other areas of the eye of a model so 
uh, continue painting uh, on the white area alone so just continue painting and removing the color from the white area of the eye so this has been a tutorial about um, what I do for my color grading of my images in Photoshop and yeah I, I did uh, color correction or color grading and I showed you each and every step I do follow when I'm color grading my images and I showed you how to whiten the eyes uh, of the models in Photoshop so I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and if at all you love this a specific tutorial uh, give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to um, subscribe to this channel if at all you're watching this video for the first time